Right, so this is an issue that a lot of us seem to have. I have this every two or three months. Every time there's a major update for Native, native Instruments Native Access, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to open it up and I'm going to show you the problem that we have and how I'm going to go about fixing it. This time, this usually works uh, most of the time. So when I try to open it up, it says, please grant permission to Native Access to install dependencies. Please restart Native Access. Um, that doesn't work. So when I restart it, I get stuck in the same loop. When I restart the computer, same thing. So none of that's going to work. I already know that offhand. I'm not going to bore you with that process. So I'm just going to go over the directions that I'm getting from the Native Access or Native Instruments website, and you're going to see what I'm doing here. So we're going to go to Activity Monitor. So the one they want me to show is Native Access Helper. Let's go by name, and we'll go down to N. So what I'm looking for is N-T-K-D-A-E-M-O-N, -E and these are in alphabetical order. So let's see. N, I don't see N-T-K. I'm also looking for Native Access Helper. I don't see Native Access Helper. So we should be good there. Now, the next thing I need to do is I need to go to my library folder. So we're going to go to Finder here, and I'm going to look for library. I hold down the Option key. I can open up my library here, and I want to go to Macintosh HD library. That's what they're saying. I'm following the directions right here on the website. Then I want to go to Launch Daemons. Maybe it's pronounced Daemons. And then com.nativeinstruments.nativeaccess.helper2, and it says delete that file. So I'm deleting that one. I'm going to put in my password. That's gone, free and clear. And then we're going to delete a couple of other files. We're going to go back to library where we are here. We're going to privileged help tools. Again, I'm only doing what, what it says on the site. I'm not going to delete any other files because that could really mess up your computer. Privileged helper tools, com.nativeinstruments.nativeaccess.helper2. So this one right here, delete that password again. All right, that's number two. Number three, it says Macintosh HD. We're gonna to go to users. I'm gonna look for my name. In this case, I am DeFingas. And then the library here. So if I don't see the library here, this is where I gotta to go to uh, up here to go. And I can hold down option and I can go to my library there. So as you can see, I have users, DeFingas library. Uh, and then I'm gonna to go to preferences in this folder. And this process isn't the best. Hopefully there's a faster way to do this in the future. Um, it's, yeah, it's terrible because I was like in the middle of creating something. So I'm going to com.native instruments uh, dot native instruments dot native slash instruments dot native. So I'm looking for native. I'm going the wrong way. Dot. I'm looking for dot native uh, instruments, which I don't see. I see native access, native access. Uh, let me make sure this is by name. I don't see native instruments, so we might be good there. Uh, I'm looking for NTK now. So that one, it says delete and make sure that you double check the names of these files um you want to make sure that you're deleting the right files and right folders because again deleting the wrong thing could really mess you up uh, then i'm going to go back to my username library and this time we're going to application support uh, native instruments ntk folder let's see is there a folder here native instruments uh, let's go in here ntk folder we're going to delete this uh, one more. So late library application support. Let's go back to application support. Um, we could have stayed in native instruments, uh, native instruments, and then the native access folder, not the updater. We're just going to delete the native access folder. And I believe we are good to go. So now it says <laughs> empty the trash. Of course, uh, my trash isn't visible here on the recording, but I'm going to empty the trash over here on my other screen, empty the trash. It might take a while because I actually have a lot in the trash that needed to be emptied. So I'll probably speed this part up. All right, so my trash is emptied. So now it says restart NTK daemon. So I have to open the applications folder, right click native at instruments. So we're going to go, where's my applications folder? Um, we're going to go to native, uh, uh, native access. We're going to right click. So I'm going to right click native access or control click if you don't have a right clicker. And then I'm going to go to show package contents. And then we're going to navigate to contents, resource. Again, I wouldn't even know to do this if it wasn't for these instructions. Contents, resources, daemon, mac, and then what are we going to do here? Right click the installer package and select open. Follow the installation procedure. So now we're going to install this thing again. I'm going to hit all the allow. Um, I might speed through this process depending on how long this takes. I want this to install on my hard drive. Uh, it's only going to take 500 megs, um, passwords or what? Yeah, I'll probably speed through this installation process. Mm -hmm. 
All right, and last but not least, uh, I have to go to terminal here, and I have to copy a command line that's provided on the instruction site here, which I'll, I might include this in, in the description, all these instructions. So if I hit enter, it's gonna ask me for my password. When you put in your password, you will not see the password show up here. You won't see any stars or anything. Just put your password, hit enter. So I put my password in and so I'm going to go to native access. It says start native access and let's see what happens. Will it start? Scroll to proceed. This looks good. It's going to ask me, uh, of course, I'm going to read all this. No, I'm not. Um, and it's basically re sort of like re imaging everything in the native access, but why do I have to do this every two or three months um, to get to this point? I don't know. So, but here we are, we're back up and running. As you can see, I need to install some things here, which I want to do. Um, I won't do that here on the recording, but that is when you start getting that uh, install dependency. What is it? Please grant permission to native access to install dependencies. Um, please refer to this video. I'm going to have to refer to this video now moving forward because I don't want to keep going back to the instructions. Um, but now that we have this video as a resource, refer to this video, and this will get us back up and running with native access. Thank you for tuning in. Check the description for links in the description. Um, you can check out my website, thefingers.com, for sample packs and products and things that I sell there. You can also connect with me in my Facebook group, uh, focus on sync licensing and trailer music. Uh, if you have any um, music-related needs, you wanted to have a music consult, um, you can check out. We can do a chat, so let me know. Just hit me up. Um, all the links will be in the description. Check out the description, and I will see you in the next video. All right, peace.